The time of year is here. This is part of Baltimore. It's a Baltimore heritage. A season. Hi, Santa. Of wish list. A train set. A season of hope. I think we need all the hope we can get right now. At Sparrows Point Thursday, memories are in the air. Brings back uh, steel mill plant memories. Memories. I remember the field across from the hot mill. That's all that's left for retired steel workers. That was our rally. I helped organize that. Jeff McCullough and Tom Stoll iron them out. When was our strike, 59? At the Baltimore Museum of Industry's Beth Steele exhibit. They built a lot of ships there. At its height, Sparrows Point along the Patapsco River was home to the biggest steel mill in the world. The L furnace stood at the heart of it all. The beast of the east, they called it. You couldn't turn it off or on. It had to run constantly. Steel sustained generations. Not just me, it's just generational for many families like that. My grandfather worked there. My Uncle Eddie worked there. And that's my dad, Albert, and myself. Because when you work in a place like that, it's, it's in your blood, it's in your pores. Jeff got his start there in 73. I think it was around 38 and a half years. Nearly 39 years through to the very end. At Bethlehem Steel, Sparrows Point was uh, I don't think any of us dreamed it would end like it did. Once the largest steel producer in the world, behind bridges, high rises, warships, Bethlehem Steel filed Chapter 11 in 2001. The writing was on the wall, they're going bankrupt. Retirees' pensions and benefits took a hit. Steelmaking would continue at Sparrows Point another decade before new owner RG Steel left too. When they made the announcement that they were shutting down for good in 2012, that was, uh, that was a sad day. The beast of the east, the L furnace, went down in 2015. With it, any hope for many of steel returning to Sparrows Point. That's L furnace going down. Jeff and Tom find in a photo exhibit what has endured at the site. Yeah, that's it. Five points. Yeah, it's 45 foot from point to point. Appearing over five decades. It was the star of Bethlehem. It was hope. Hope lit up in the Baltimore County sky from Thanksgiving through New Year's every year from 1978 on. Yeah, that's something we always took for granted. It's there every year. In the years since steel making left, 1,500 pounds of it stayed. Trade Point Atlantic still lights the star every December. And people in the community relied on that to see it from Thanksgiving to the first of the year. But to many, the star evoked more than hope. I don't know. A lot of pride. That was a lot of hope for a lot of people. Too many of them give their life down here too. A lot of people died throughout all the years. It's unknown just how many died in the plant's 125 year run. A monument once displayed outside the Union Hall now stands at Dundalk's Heritage Park. The steel plant site? Just happy that there's life down there again. The air is pretty fresh. Now home to a different type of economic engine. FedEx trucks, Amazon trucks. Until. Ladies and gentlemen, steel is back. Renewed hope forged in an August announcement. We've always viewed this area as sacred ground. Sacred ground, the future of Sparrows Point Steel. That they're going to manufacture the windmills out of steel made in America. U.S. Wind and Trade Point Atlantic in a long-term lease agreement, plans for a steel fabrication facility for wind farms, which will bring Union Steel jobs back. It's very emotional. No smokestacks this time around. Steel, cleaner and greener, will be here again. So it's great that they're going to bring back steel. Which brings us back to Four, Thursday. Three, two, one, light the star! The original star lights the night. It's definitely an uh, official start for the Christmas season. Tom joins others to see the star of Bethlehem. My, my dad passed away last year, so to come and see it lit again. He worked here a long time, and he loved it. 43 years later. It keeps the memory alive of Bethlehem Steel. The star still shines. But the star has been here for a long time. They'll never put it out, I don't think. A steel future, once dim, now more bright in the Sparrows Point night. I think it's beautiful. Hopefully it's a good way of bringing people together, you know.
in Baltimore County. Boy, do we need it right now. Paul Gessler for CBS Baltimore.